In this video, we're going to look at factors. So, continuing on from the previous video where we looked at multiples, we're now looking at factors. So, if I was thinking about what are the factors of the number 8, then you are looking for all of the numbers that divide cleanly into 8 with zero remainder. That's why I say cleanly, so there's no remainder. So, I, i.e., numbers that go into 8. Now, the best way to really set this out is to look for numbers, pairs of numbers, that multiply together to make 8. So, for example, we would have 1 times 8 would make 8, and 2 times 4. Notice how I'm looking for whole numbers, I'm not looking for decimals, okay? So just whole numbers. And then, once you've got the two different ways that we could get uh, 8, then the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, it could be read in a list. If I was looking at um, the number 9, then the ways that I can make 9 are 1 times 9, or 3 times 3. Okay, so for 9, the factors are 1, 3, and 9. Notice how I'm not including 3 twice, okay? So 3 was a repeated factor there, because 9 is a square number. So 1, 3, and 9 are the factors of 9. If we were looking at uh, 7, then there's only one way that we can make 7, 1 times 7. So 7 only has the two factors, 1 and 7. Let's also think of the number 1. Well, the 1 can only be found by doing 1 times 1. So 1 has only one factor itself. Okay? So from this, um, we are going to... Um, get some information, but this is how, we, which we're going to look at in the next couple of videos, uh, but this is how you can find the factors of a number. F try and find all the different ways that you can multiply two numbers together to make the number you're looking at. So for 8 it was 1 times 8 and 2 times 4, and then you can just read off, they are the numbers that you're looking for, they are the factors.